You already knew this was coming. You know I had to talk about this thing behind me. Literally the day after the eclipse, this massive anomaly shows up out from under Antarctica, apparently. Y'all, this is crazy. It started out with just 28 foot or so waves, 13 to 28 feet, coming from essentially Antarctica. And as the day went on, on the 9th, they grew, they grew, and they grew, and they began to cover more and more area. Check it out. So you can see it starts off a certain anomaly, then it begins to get wider, 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 and boom, it just disappears right by Cape Town, South Africa. Now check this out. This is a video that was posted on TikTok 23 hours ago from Cape Town, shortly after the anomaly went through. It is literally almost like a tsunami. It is blasting the shoreline. What's even more interesting is even before the eclipse, the day before, stuff started picking up there. Whatever is causing this, and I know people are saying, oh, it's just swell waves, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, there's something going on. So after going over some things with my girlfriend and shooting some ideas back and forth, I think we've discovered where exactly this large burst of energy came from. What's happening, y'all? We are back at it again. If you could do me a solid, like, follow, subscribe, and share this video so we get as much traction as possible. Only 30% of my viewers are actually subscribed and following. So if you like my videos and you watch them regularly, please take the time to follow and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Between 2016 and 2018, scientists in Antarctica discovered a particle emitting from under the earth known as neutrinos. Neutrinos are the most abundant particle in the universe that were thought for a long time to have zero mass. But they recently discovered that in fact it does have slight mass, but it's so small they cannot assign an atomic mass to it. It's also the only subatomic particle to interact with one of the four fundamental interactions of nuclear physics, and that is the weak force. Long story short, that means it can pass through any mass unimpeded. For example, every day, trillions of neutrinos are emitted from the sun and they pass through you. You don't even know it. Why is this important? Well, they can use these neutrinos to map planets, to map the core of the sun. They even believe that they can use it to communicate possibly faster than the speed of light. And they've also discovered that UFOs emit these same subatomic particles. So essentially, they can use them to track UFOs within our airspace. So back to the source of our possible energy burst. The way they track these neutrinos is by these modules called DOMS for digital optical modules. And they basically track these neutrinos when these neutrinos interact with the nuclei of ice. Their facility in the Amundsen Scott Research Center in Antarctica, they've buried 5,000 of these DOMS over 2,500 feet deep into the ice. What most don't know is those 5,000 DOMS are capable of producing 2,400 volts of electricity. They get this electricity from an undisclosed nuclear power deep within the Antarctic ice. They can do that because it was there and they discovered it before the Antarctic Treaty. Needless to say, when they kick this thing on, so basically, when they kick this thing on, it's 2,400 volts times 5,000 around 12 million volts of electricity is emitted from these DOMS at the Ice Cube Neutrino Research Facility. Let's just say when they first fired it up, it caused an earthquake in New Zealand. And that was an early on discovery. Who knows what the power this thing can produce even is. But that's, I believe, why you see the energy waves or the waves coming out from Antarctica. And then, this goes back to what I believe the entity is. In the beginning of my video, what did I say? They can use said neutrinos to track UFO spacecraft. Now, whether this was just a byproduct of them firing it up or whether or not they fired it up intentionally to zero in on said craft, I can't say. And all this is just speculation, of course. I'm not saying any of this is absolute fact. I'm not even trying to promote it as such. This is just a theory and this is my theory. But I believe that anomaly 
whether it was multiple crafts, one craft, I don't know, but they fired up that ice cube neutrino facility and detected with neutrinos that massive anomaly or that craft in the ocean or multiple crafts. Now, I don't believe that necessarily one craft would make such a massive anomaly, but it could give off energy or multiple crafts could get off, give off energy that would cover that span of area. Therefore, the waves and the interaction with the craft causes all of this that has taken place from the wind, the waves, the animals moving, the sea life swimming away, weather anomalies, period. Again, this is just a theory. It could be absolutely nothing. It could be a total wave anomaly. But In Too Thin Air posted a video on Twitter claiming that it was created at that island. It wasn't. But In Too Thin Air, there's your energy source, the Ice Cube Neutrino Research Facility. So along with this, they basically have been tracking these neutrinos that are emitted from Earth, and they don't know where they're from. And they're essentially a certain type of neutrino. A sterile one which is considered to be dark matter well there's something that I believe is emitting these neutrinos as well go ahead and keep an eye out probably not tonight but tomorrow night I'm gonna go live I'm gonna talk about this make sure you watch it and we'll cover it but I have a good idea as to what is producing these neutrinos of dark matter all that being said, I could be wrong about all this, guys. This is just speculation. Just me shooting in the dark, doing what I do, theorizing, hypothesizing, and seeing if it might throw on a wall and stick. Either it way, is y'all, is. right or wrong, it was a weird this anomaly. This is what we do, I right? This is what that, we that do. Laboratories could be the source of the we talk about creating we theorize, it. theorize, and we go against that's what I got. the general consensus. So that's fun, let me know what you right? think in the comments. It's fun could to think outside UFOs, of the box. Could it be just a Not weird, limit the constructs, anomaly? It could be. Is it anything? Out of Obviously, this world, we don't get too crazy outlandish, nature. but what's outlandish, right? I mean, at the end of the day, who describes what is outlandish anymore in this world? So that's what it's about here. It's all opinion-based, though. It's all for entertainment purposes only. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. As always, stay in the love, stay in the light, be kind to others, and we will keep track of this. I am out.